Jeremiah Hawkins is the best middle linebacker in the NFL, and he's been that for the past two seasons. Not only is he the best middle linebacker in the game, he's also the best defensive player in the game. He led the Detroit Lions to the best defense in the NFL for the past two seasons. And on top of that, he led the Detroit Lions to a 16-1 and record this season and last season. Last season, the Lions had the number one seed, but they ended up losing in a divisional round. So Jeremiah Hawkins and all of his teammates that were on the team last year remember that game, and they want to win this wild card game. But the difference between this season and last season is that the Lions ended up having the number two seed because the Atlanta Falcons, the only team that beat the Detroit Lions, Went 17-0 and while the Lions went 16-1. and This year, they play against the Dallas Cowboys in the first round of the playoffs. This will definitely be a tough game, but I think the Detroit Lions can handle them. We are here in Detroit, Michigan, where the Dallas Cowboys are visiting playing against the Lions. On the first play of the game, they will run outside zone. Hawkins sniffs it out immediately, but he ends up getting stiff-armed on the play. Misses the tackle, but luckily his teammates were able to make the play. It will be second down and 12 right here. The Cowboys will come out in the empty backfield. The Lions have great coverage downfield. Jeremiah Hawkins ends up tackling the quarterback. He only got one yard on the play, forcing a third down and 11. The Lions will end up stopping him on that third down and 11, end up scoring when they got the ball, so they would be up 7 to nothing. Hawkins evades the block and smacks the running back on this play. Only got one yard on the play, but great job. Of seeing the lineman coming, staying on his feet when he got blocked, and he smacked the running back. Second down and nine with less than two minutes left to go in the first quarter. The Cowboys will come out in an empty backfield once again. The Lions will have great coverage down the field. Quarterback will take off, and Jeremiah Hawkins and his teammate ends up making the tackle on the play, forcing the third down and four for the Dallas Cowboys. The Cowboys ended up converting on that third down and four, so it will be first and ten. Cowboys have the ball right here. They made the mistake of trying to block Jeremiah Hawkins with a running back, and he blew the play up immediately. Got nothing on the play. 30, man, so stupid. Why would you throw a running back trying to block Jeremiah Hawkins? You're going to miss every single time. On second down and 10, the Lions will come out in a dime package on defense. Stevens will end up dropping back and throw this absolute dime to the Cortland Moten, a subscriber to the channel, for a gain of 28 yards. Put it right on the money. There's nothing in it that the corner or the safety could do beautiful throw beautiful catch you got to get them props the cowboys will end up moving the ball on this drive it will be second down a goal they will send the tight end in motion on the start of the play jeremiah hawkins is eager to get in the backfield he couldn't get in the backfield and the running back will walk into the end zone for a touchdown but the lions will respond and be up 14 to 7 right here at the start of the second quarter on first down and 10, the Lions drop in the cover too. Stevens throws an absolute dime to Wyatt for a first down. Stevens is 5 for 5 so far in this game. With four minutes left to go in the second quarter, Cowboys come out in the empty backfield once again. Stevens tries to take off again, and Jeremiah Hawkins has him down on the ground for a sack. His first sack of the ball game. It would be first down and 10 right here. 3.30 left to go in the half. The Cowboys would try to run outside zone, and Jeremiah Hawkins blew the play up immediately for a loss of three. When you play against the Detroit Lions, I don't understand the outside zone plays consistently. Jeremiah Hawkins is way too athletic for that. He runs a 4-3, so anything side to side, he's gonna blow up. But it will be third down and 13 right here. They will send the tight end in motion. Jeremiah Hawkins will have coverage responsibilities to him, but the quarterback will throw it to the Cortland Moten for a first down conversion. The Cowboys are moving the ball very well in this drive. If they're able to score a touchdown, that would be very impressive. Not many teams score touchdowns this season on this Detroit Lions defense. Second down and seven, they would try to run it with the running back, and Jeremiah Hawkins ends up making the tackle eight yards down the field forcing a third down and one. Normally when Jeremiah Hawkins covers wide receivers or tight ends, he shuts them down from anywhere on the football field. Covering this wide receiver right here, he got absolutely baked. And now it will be first down and goal for the Dallas Cowboys. Detroit preventing them from being in the end zone on first down and goal, so second down and goal. Another chance to stop him. They tried to run the ball. Jeremiah Hawkins dodges the block and makes a tackle. Once again, trying to block him with a fullback. I don't think that's the smartest decision. He just... <laughs> Got away from that block so easy and made the tackle. Okay, third down and goal. Can the Lions keep them out of the end zone? Empty backfield for the Dallas Cowboys. 
Lions drop back in coverage. Stevens trying to find somebody. Ends up getting sacked on the play for a loss of eight. The Lions held in the three points. They got the ball at the start of the third quarter. Ended up throwing the interception. So the Cowboys will be down by four. And they get a chance to take the lead right now. Nice first down conversion. It will be first down and 15. After a false start from the Cowboys, Jeremiah Hawkins lined up in the slot. Empty backfield coming from the Cowboys. Jeremiah would lose his rep right here, but ends up making the tackle on the play. Six-yard game, forcing a second down to nine. Cowboys are definitely moving the ball well so far. Quarterback doing this thing in this ball game as well. Jeremiah Hawkins covering this dude out of the backfield. Has lockdown coverage on him, but the pressure ends up getting to the quarterback. Forcing a third down to nine. Lions come out in the dime package. Jeremiah Hawkins ends up getting blocked up. They run the draw, and he ends up getting the first down. On first down, the Lions ended up getting a nice tackle for loss. So it would be second down and 13. Cowboys come out in the empty backfield once again. And they end up converting right here like it was way too easy. Nice 17-yard completion. The Lions have definitely been getting cooked in man coverage all game long. Up by four right here. Lions comes on the blitz. Puts the spin cycle on the guard. Get a little bit of pressure. But Walker would be wide open. They sent that blitz on him. Left some of their defenders on islands. And they had to pay the price for it. But they still get a chance to stop the Dallas Cowboys. Cowboys. Jeremiah Hawkins getting close to the line of scrimmage right here. Ball snap, he drops back in the coverage. Dawson tries to take off. But Hawkins smacked him right there. Put that pain on him, low key. Second sack of the game. Lions drop back in the quarters, confused the quarterback. Jeremiah Hawkins saw him take off, decided to smack him. And I think that counts as his second sack of the day. Second down and 10 right here. With one minute left to go in the third quarter. The Cowboys end up running slant. Jeremiah had a chance to pick the pass off, but he couldn't. So far in this game, Jeremiah has 11 tackles, 3 TFLs, and 1 sack. That's crazy, though. I thought he got credited for 2, but he got 1. First down and goal for the Cowboys. They run a great play right here. Nice option. And the Cowboys had a lead, 17-14. But the Lions will respond back and be up 20-17. to 17. Four minutes left to go in the ball game. This is the time where the Detroit Lions show us that they are the number one defense in the NFL. Third down and seven with less than four minutes left to go in the game. The Lions come out in the dime package. Stevens draws back, decides to dump it off to the running back, but Jeremiah Hawkins put that pain on him right there. 12 tackles so far in the ball game. And the Lions scored a touchdown when they got the ball back. Jeremiah Hawkins does a great job of disguising coverage and jumps in front of this pass. Easy pick six. Just blew the game open for the Detroit Lions. Hawkins does a great job of baiting the quarterback into throwing that little check down. And this is a pick six. Hawkins does a great job of staying patient in his back pedal. Sees the quarterback is lobbing it up to the receiver. He jumps in front of it and takes it to the end zone. Big time play by Jeremiah Hawkins. Just give me that. Walking to the end zone. Pick six. At this point in time in the ball game, it's low key desperation mode for the Dallas Cowboys. 115 left to go. And they're down by 17 right now. Second down and 10. Hawkins comes on the blitz, forces the quarterback to get rid of the football, forcing a third down and 10. 113 left to go in the fourth quarter. Jeremiah Hawkins decides to blitz once again, got pressure on him once again, but he throws an absolute dime to Wyatt. That is not an easy throw to make. Trust and believe me on that. The Lions come out in a dime package right here. Hawkins comes on the blitz. Can he try to get to the quarterback? But he throws a nice pass to Wyatt once again. I'm not going to lie. Wyatt's definitely been eating in this game. One minute left to go in the fourth quarter, though. This game is pretty much over. They didn't block Hawkins, so he gets to pad his stats with another tackle. 40 seconds left to go in the game. First down and 10. They drop back in the cover, too. Stevens just has to get rid of the football because nobody was open on the plate. 36 seconds left to go in the game. Second down and 10. Hawkins does a great job of baiting him once again and just jumps in front of it with the one-handed pick. Had him fooled the entire time. Made him think that the tight end was open. Jeremiah Hawkins jumps in front of it. Left-handed one-hand snag, nice interception, making plays out there. Stop playing with my man. And the Lions end up winning this ball game. Of course, this was the play of the game, the pick six from Jeremiah Hawkins. They pretty much ended the game. They were up by 10 at that point. Had that pick six, put them up by 17 late in the ball game, and the Cowboys really had no chance after that. Jeremiah Hawkins play of the game, 12 tackles, three TFLs, two assisted tackles, a sack, Two interceptions, a pick six. I really thought he had two sacks, but it is what it is. But Detroit ends up winning 34-17. The Dallas Cowboys end up going home after winning 10 games. They had a very successful season, especially since they weren't any type of good last year. Had a top 15 pick in the draft. End up winning 10 games. So the future is bright for the Dallas Cowboys. The Detroit Lions, 16-1 on the regular season, won their first playoff game. 
Now, it's time for the divisional round, and I'm wondering if Detroit and Jeremiah Hawkins can make a run. The defense can show out. Team stats in this game, 265 yards of total offense from the Cowboys. Lions did their thing, shut them down, even though Dallas did have a pretty good game plan throughout this game. 14 tackles, 12 solo tackles, 2 assisted tackles, 3 TFLs, a sack, 2 interceptions, and a pick six from Jeremiah Hawkins. What more do you want from your star player in the biggest game of the year? But anyways, it's Reezy here with the Reason Sports Network. Make sure y'all like this video. Comment anything on this video. Anything, your critique, whatever. Subscribe to the channel. And make sure you click on the post notification bell too. You can be a character in the Reason Sports Network universe. We make content for high school, college, and the pros. You can submit a form. The link will be in the description. However, if you sign up with Patreon, you'll have a lot more customization and control over your character. The link will be in the description. If you want to see some of my subscribers declare for the NFL Draft, then make sure you click this video right here. Or you can see every single Jeremiah Hawkins video if you click on the playlist above.